Are you taking Praxis Elementary Mathematics Content Knowledge Test 7813, Early Equations and Expressions? Do you need help with some practice problems? If so, then this is the video for you. Hi, my name is Tom, and I'm a test prep expert here at study.com and a certified math teacher, and I'm going to walk you through some of the types of problems you may see. So let's get started. Which of the following expressions is equivalent to 3 times the quantity x plus 4? Is it 3x plus 4, x plus 12, 3x plus 12, or 3x times 4? All right, so we're using the distributive property. So the distributive property of multiplication says if I have a times the quantity b plus c, that will equal a times b plus a times c. So we want to take our 3, so we have 3 times the quantity x plus 4, so we're going to apply the distributive property, so we're going to multiply the 3 by x, so we would get 3x, we're going to multiply the 3 by 4, so we're going to take 3 times 4, so that would come out to be 3 times x plus 3 times 4 is 12, so our answer is 3x plus 12. If x equals 5, which of the following equations is true? Is it 3x plus 2 equals 17, 4x minus 3 equals 15, 5x minus 2 equals 27, or 2x plus 8 equals 16? We're testing to see if an equation is true. We want to substitute in 5 in for x, and we want to see if we get a true statement. And we will also have access to the online graphing calculator for this if needed. So for example, if we look at our second choice, we would get 4 times, and we substitute in 5 for x, minus 3. So we would get 20 minus 3, which is equal to 17. 15 is the answer that they have here, and that does not equal 17. So that is not a valid solution to that. We look at our third choice. We get 5. We substitute in 5 for x, minus 2. So that would be 25 minus 2, which is 23. 23 does not equal 27, so that choice is eliminated. For the fourth choice we try, 2 times 5 plus 8, that would be 10 plus 8 is 18. 18 does not equal 16, but if we look at our first choice here, if we substitute in 5 for x, we would get 3 times 5 plus 2, well that equals 17, and then if we go and look, we would have 17 on the left side of the equation and 17 on the right, so it is a true statement. So our answer would be the first choice. Evaluate the expression 6 plus 3 times the quantity 8 minus 2 divided by 3. Is the answer 9, 12, 15, or 18? When we're doing a problem like this, we want to use the order of operations, and we want to remember this acronym PEMDAS and PEMDAS it's going to give us our order. So P represents parentheses or other grouping symbols. So it could also represent brackets. So parentheses, brackets, those would be considered grouping symbols. So parentheses, exponents. So if we raise something to a power, that would be the second step. So multiplication M, D for divide, A for addition, and S for subtraction. The one thing we have to realize with teaching this is that multiplication and division work together and addition and subtraction work together. So when we get past the point with all the exponents are gone and parentheses are gone, we want to do multiplication and division in order from left to right. So sometimes division may be come before multiplication because we're going to work left to right. Okay, so let's try this example here. So we have 6 plus 3 times the quantity 8 minus 2 divided by 3. So the first step here is we're going to do parentheses. When we do the parentheses, we would get 6 plus 3, and then 8 minus 2 is 6. So the 8 minus 2 becomes 6 divided by 3. All right, the next step would be exponents. There's no exponents here, so we can move on to multiplication and division. So we're going to start from left to right, and we're going to look for any multiplication or division symbol. Left to right, we can see the first symbol we have is 3 times 6. So we're going to multiply 3 times 6, and we're going to get 18. So this would become 6 plus 18 divided by 3. 
And then again, we're going to repeat the process because we see a division symbol in here. So we're going to go left to right. We have addition. So division comes before addition. So we're going to do the 18 divided by 3, which is 6. So we would get 6 plus 6, which equals 12. Which of the following statements is correct? 5 is greater than 12, 7 is less than 3, 10 is equal to 10, or 8 is greater than 9. All right, so we're looking at inequality symbols and equality symbols. So now we remember that the first symbol reads greater than, and this reads less than. So what we want to do is we want to think of a number line. Any value that's greater than another value would be to the right on the number line. So if we look at 5 and 12, 5 would be to the left of 12 on the number line. So 5 cannot be greater than 12. And then we use the same idea for the second and fourth choice. 7 is to the right of 3 on the number line. So 7 is actually greater than 3. 8 is to the left of 9 on the number line, so 8 cannot be greater than 9. 8 has to be less than 9. So the only statement that is correct here is that 10 equals 10. That concludes our video, Praxis Elementary Mathematics Content Knowledge Test 7813, Early Equations and Expressions. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to our channel. And for more resources, please visit study.com to get access to more practice problems and personalized study plans. Again, thanks for watching.